Hello folks, this is Aitan Ajha from InspiredWise.com and today we are going to talk about the Asus ZenBook Flip 14. So guys, let's first start with an unboxing for the same. This is the official box for the Asus ZenBook Flip 14. Inside you get this laptop which has a very nice hinge and you can rotate it up to 360 degrees. Inside you also get a 65 watt power adapter. Then you get the pin input for this one which can be used in order to annotate things and in order to write a lot of different stuff. It also comes with documentation on the inside and now let's talk about the build and design. This laptop is very lightweight at just around 1.6 kilograms, has a nice metallic design and if you look at the top, you can easily rotate it into the tablet mode and use it like a normal Windows tablet. So that's something which is really good considering the fact that this laptop won't be really that much pricey. The hinge for this one looks pretty sturdy and at the back you get the heat dissipation bins for this laptop which are visible even when you have rotated it to full 360 degrees. At the back you also get the speaker model for this one which are downward firing speakers. And on the right hand side you get the 3.5mm jack, the power button for this one along with the USB port and the micro SD card slot. On the left hand side you get the DC port, HDMI port, one USB port and one type C port. The pen input for this one comes with two buttons. The downward facing button can be pressed and then you can touch the screen in order to enable the right click functionality. And now let's talk about the specifications. On the inside this specific model comes with the Ryzen 7 3700U processor, 4 core, 8 threads, 4 MB of L3 cache. UX462DA is the model number for this one, 8 GB of RAM, 2400 MHz is present already and you can also upgrade it. It comes with the RX Vega 10 internal graphics. And now let's talk about the benchmarks. This laptop would be available in two models, the Ryzen R53500U model and the R73700U model. We had the R73700U model and it performed good. But the overall clock speed wasn't really that high to beat something like Intel i5 mobile chipsets. But I would say that it's good enough for normal 720p low casual gaming and a lot of other stuff. It comes with 512GB PCI Express X2 SSD and the read write speed was pretty good considering the fact that this is not really a heavy high end gaming laptop. The display on this one is a 14 inch LED backlit full HD 16s to 9 slim panel and I found that the touch response also on this one was pretty good for a lot of users and you would find that it feels snappy even in power saving mode. Now let's talk about the gameplay and FPS. I played Counter Strike Global Offensive on lowest possible settings at 720p and the gameplay was okay. I was getting around 60 to 80 FPS, not really the best in class. And if I talk about a heavier game like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I was not getting playable FPS on a game like that. And even on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I was not getting good enough FPS for normal gameplay. On Fortnite, I was getting around 35 to 60 FPS, but the FPS was still fluctuating a lot and the gameplay wasn't really that much stable. You can surely play better games with a nice cooling solution and everything. But I feel that this laptop is definitely not meant for hardcore gamers. If I talk about the keyboard experience on this one, it comes with an ergolift design and the overall quality of keys was pretty good. And I feel that in its price range, it has one of the best keyboards around. Even the touch response for the trackpad was pretty good and good enough for normal day-to-day -day usage. It has an infrared camera for fast Windows Hello Unlock and that also works nicely even in low light. It comes with a 42 watt hour 3 cell lithium ion battery and Asus guys claim that it can get you up to 9 hours of battery life. I got around 7 hours of battery life in my normal web browsing usage with power saver mode on. And if you're going to do really heavy work etc then you won't get that much battery the best part about this laptop is the kind of artistic expression that it allows you via the multitude of apps and utilities that you can install in order to utilize the pen and other features the downward firing speakers are okay for your normal day-to-day -day usage but i felt that the volume could have been a little louder asus claims that this ultra portable comes with really high tough standards but i didn't get the chance to drop this laptop in order to test that I found that the overall usability for this laptop was particularly great and if you are a creative professional you would like the kind of expression that it allows you via different things and the best part about this laptop is that it also doubles up as a productivity laptop as an ultra portable which also has a good battery life but if you are somebody who is looking for really hardcore performance this laptop is definitely not meant for you because in the specific price range at which this laptop would retail which is around 65,000 rupees you can get better laptops for heavy gaming needs or other performance needs but if you are somebody who is looking for a 2 in 1 laptop maybe this is the best that you can get right now so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to inspire to rise for more awesome tech videos like this one and guys no matter what you do stay inspired to rise